Welcome to this AI art course brought to you by Deep Lizard. My name is Chris and we are delighted to have you with us. In this lesson, we're gonna cover a question. Does AI art have meaning? A very deep question that we have to consider as AI art comes into being. Now, we're gonna do this by discussing the Women of the World project and how I injected meaning into this particular piece. So I wanna talk about the concept for the Women of the World project and its inception. When I first started experimenting with Stable Diffusion, I was using images of Mandy and I was applying different styles. I was trying random things like a woman as a movie star and things like that to see how the image would be affected. Then I started thinking a little bit more um, during the previous three years, Mandy and I had been living throughout Southeast Asia. And so I got the idea to try to make uh, an Asian version of Mandy. And we lived in Vietnam for two years, actually during COVID. And that was the place that we stayed for the longest period of time. So naturally I wanted to see what would a Vietnamese version of Mandy look like. So I asked Stable Diffusion to do this for me and it worked. So the one on the right is Mandy and the one on, or excuse me, the one on the left is Mandy and the one on the right is the Asian or the Vietnam, Vietnamese version of Mandy. So the there's Vietnamese under each side. The On the left side, it says, Co A La Ngoi Vietnam, or <laughs> that's actually what it says on the right. That means she's Vietnamese. And then on the left, it's Co A La Ngoi Mi. And that means that she is American. So I was amazed by how well this particular process went. And so this resulted in me trying different versions from the other countries that we had traveled to in the past. And those countries are Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, Myanmar, Laos, and Thailand, in addition to Vietnam. So I made all of these particular versions of Mandy and that was going quite well for me. And then I soon realized that things could get pretty interesting if I just had a data set that told me all of the different uh, nationalities or, or ethnic groups that exist on the planet. And so then I Googled for that and I came across the list of contemporary ethnic groups on Wikipedia. So that is here. And you can just scroll scroll down and the ethnic group list is here. So all I had to do was somehow get this data and plug it into Stable Diffusion with my input image of Mandy. And I could see something that I never thought would be possible. So now I wanna talk a little bit about, that's the inception, that's how the idea came to be. And you can see that it's meaningful to me because of the subject matter. It's pulling from my past experiences, places where I lived, and it's pulling from Mandy and my relationship with Mandy. And then Mandy and I often talked in the past about potentially trying to live in every country in the world. And then we were on that mission a little bit and then COVID struck and that's what caused us to stay in Vietnam for so long. In a way, this project, whenever I think about every country in the world, it kind of is a, a symbol of what we might do one day in the future. So I had my past embedded in the project and then now my future was a little bit embedded into the project. So you may have heard before that life imitates art or maybe that it's the other way around, art imitates life. I definitely feel that this project reflects my life and my past experience. Another idea that I wanted to convey in the project is that humanity, in terms of humanity, we are all one. So oftentimes we feel separate, but but really we're connected, we, we're a collective. And as you can see in the project, we all look slightly different, but we share a common humanity. And this was my experience as well when I was meeting people while traveling and living in different places with people that were very different from me. So one way that I wanted to symbolize the fact that we were all connected is by keeping the eyes constant. So the eyes stay constant throughout the piece. So this is a, the, the eyes staying constant is a symbolic aspect of the project, but it also gives us a technical advantage, which is the, the changing images can look more consistent as the, the, the images swap from one to the next. So if the eyes were moving all around, it would make the, the project much more 
uh, disorient, disorienting. But because the eyes stay constant, the, the structure of the pixels stays uh, in a similar place throughout the entire piece. So with all this talk about the eyes and their relevance and the way that they add meaning in the piece, there's one more particular uh, thing that I wanna bring to your attention, which is an Easter egg in the piece. I'm at, I, as the artist, am actually in the piece. I'm in the reflection of Mandy's eye. So as you can see here, I'm the one that took the photo. And so me as the artist is hiding in the piece. Kind of cool. So with all of that being said, I hope that you can see how whenever you're thinking about AI art, it's the art isn't in the actual product that you get back or the image you get back. You have to, as an artist, the piece has to have, has to have meaning. I hope this gives you a little bit more insight into the project. And I hope that you can see how you can take something so simple as just generating images that in their own right, they don't really have that much meaning. But if you can create something more with these images, then that is a way to add meaning to AI art, which otherwise may be lacking in, in that meaning area. I'm just going to leave you with something that I usually like to say as a creatist or, an, or as a creator or an artist, and that is to make art and leave artifacts. This project is an artifact that I'm leaving. But before I leave you, I wanted to point you to one more project that I found notable by uh, Xander, which is called Voyage Through Time. And I invite you to come to this uh, YouTube video here and watch this particular piece that was created by Xander with Stable Diffusion. I think this particular project did a really good job at evoking the feeling, their universal feeling that we all have as as human beings, which is uh, being alive, being conscious, uh, while at the same time contemplating our past, our present, and our future. 